This tutorial is going to demonstrate how to use the new wind directional input. This is going to be a included feature in all Golf Clash notebook updates that are later than 1.0. So when you go into the wind assist and start to input your wind, after you have a wind input, you'll see that there's a directional arrow in the bottom corner. Keeping it in this position disables it from being used. So all standard adjustments, which you've known up until this point, will still apply. Clicking on it will actually open up a new window and choosing the closest arrow, which represents the wind that you have for the shot is going to give you a new, more precise adjustment. So you'll see as I toggle between different directions, it's actually going to modify the ring values. Now these have been tested and proven to be far more accurate than the original model because it actually starts to take into account the wind direction. So choosing to adapt to this model and learn the new rings, even though you won't have to essentially learn the actual numbers, it will provide you with a more accurate, precise measurement for all wind scenarios.